Hello, comic book community. Lawbox Love Affair here. Thanks for clicking play and checking out this video today. Uh, so this, I went to a local convention last weekend, and finally I'm getting around to, to putting this video together. I uh, found some great deals for $5 each, and then I also spent some big dollars on a couple of, of very uh, significant keys. So I'm excited to show you those to you today. Uh, so stick around to the end of the video because those keys are at the end. Um, but I have some keys in the, in the beginnings too. Uh, so the first booth I went to had a $5 sale and all the books were $5 and an 11 for 50 bucks. So you basically buy, buy 10, get one free type of deal. So the first ones that I found at, at this booth, and I could have spent so much more time at this booth. There was a lot of people there. I was feeling a little claustrophobic because it's it, we're still in the middle of the pandemic, and there was a lot of people in this convention, um, although they did limit the number of people coming in. It just is, it just got a little tight for me. So, um, But I did find... Uh, now, there are prices on these, so the prices are not what I paid. These were all $5. Um, I found Miss Marvel, number nine, first appearance of Deathbird. So uh, these are not all mint condition. Uh, keep in mind, these are uh, this guy must have bought a collection that had multiples and their reader copies, mid grade, what have you. So, but they're they're d decent shape. So I found three copies of Deathbird, and they're all newsstand, which is fine. Um, and uh, this is a book that I guess you could say I'm specking on. Uh, there's there was some chatter on some websites that this character might have been cast in, in MCU uh, movies uh, or a movie, but um, I cannot validate that. I have not heard much about that at all. I just picked it up. It was five bucks. It was a book that I wanted back into my collection. I might have a copy already. I'm just not sure where it is. Um, so now I have three and I just couldn't pass it up. So uh, also what I found was an, an, they had a whole lot of Tomb of Dracula and it, all of you know that Blade is coming back to be in a movie, and uh, they had some great issues. Um, these are all kind of beater copies, but for $5 to find these was awesome. So I found Tomb of Dracula 12. Uh, this is the second appearance of Blade. Uh, so uh, to get a second appearance uh, is, is pretty cool. So it goes well with the beater copy of the first appearance of Blade I have. So I got number 12. Also picked up number 13, which is Blade's third appearance and his origin. And apparently it also has a very first cameo of Deacon Frost, which is the vampire that created Blade, uh, which is rumored to be in the upcoming Blade movie. And as you can see, it is beat. Uh, it's got some tear. The, the 12 had uh, a tear up there, what have you. Uh, they're complete copies. That's all I really care about. And for, like I said, for $5, you just it's a crime to leave these behind. Um, also picked up, I've never seen this in the wild before, but this is a book that has, had picked up some steam. Five bucks, uh, Tomb of Dracula, number 45, the um, first full appearance of Deacon Frost. So th again, this is uh, a lot of people are talking about this book uh, in the run, and we'll see if anything comes of it. I again, it's speculation. You just don't know if it's going to pan out, as we all know with WandaVision. And I'm lucky enough that I did not invest in any speculation in WandaVision. Uh, oh, oh, out of order, uh, Tomb of Dracula 25. I believe this is the first appearance of Hannibal King, who appeared in the, um, gosh, is that Blade 3 movie, I think? Uh, was that the character that Ryan Reynolds played? Uh, I think so. So um, uh, just a, a, I, this is a book that I had kept my eye out for years since Blade 3 came out, but um, have never really seen it or passed, passed on it. Uh, but again, $5, and actually this is the best one of the bunch. Uh, it's got a really nice spine. It's probably fine condition. Picked up Incredible Hulk 272. Uh, this is the, thir I believe, third appearance of Rocket Raccoon. Uh, he appeared uh, earlier in this uh, in the issue prior to this, I believe, and then um, in another prestige format book. Uh, just for the heck of it, I, I picked up a couple of Venom books. So I picked up Venom number four. These were minty. Um, what I didn't realize is that this has a signature on it, and um, I'm, I don't know if that's Bagley's signature. It looks a little Bagley-esque, but uh, it could very well be another artist or another um, creator. Um, I think it's Marks, though. It just, it's just it's a little um, abbreviated. So I I wish it didn't have the signature. It's a really great book. I probably would have had it graded uh, because of this. I think it's, it, there are first appearances in that one as well as in this one, Venom Lethal Protector number five. So uh, the, these books are always great to pick up, but uh, four and five, I think, are the ones to, to keep your eye out. Of course, number one as well, but first appearance of various symbiotes. 
And the 11th book in that uh, allotment that I picked up, so I had basically this one's the free one, was um, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number three, the movie variant. Really clean copy. Uh, this this does uh, sell for a little bit more money, so I was surprised to see this in the bunch. Um, there were other books I could have picked up. There were books I passed on. Um, there were duplicate books that I have that um, were in this this uh, these long boxes so i could have spent hundreds of dollars uh, at, at this five dollar sale but um i really as you know i've been really trying to angle more towards the older books and 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 less bulk and more substance and so um i have three more books to show and they're from two different dealers and i'm really excited about them uh they're they're books that um i've had on my mind um or on my list there's an upgrade book in this list uh in this pile right now so um let me show you the first one. This is not the upgrade. This is the first time I've had this, but it's Daredevil 16. Uh, the first time John Romita drew, um, drew Spider-Man, John Romita Sr. Uh, so he, he was on Daredevil, essentially uh, event moved over to Amazing Spider-Man after Ditko left um, and, and started that monumental run. But uh, Daredevil 16, I uh, found this for a decent price. I actually saw this early in the, in the convention. I didn't want to commit too early just because I like to walk around and not commit to do high dollar books. This wasn't too high dollar. I got a great deal on it. Um, but, uh, it, it, but still, you know, I, did, I, did, I didn't know what I was encountering when I walked in the door. So uh, it was luckily there. At the, this is the last book I picked up at that con. So uh, picked this one up. Uh, excited about that. First Romita Art, 1966. First Art on Spider-Man. Then I went to the deal, dealer that I, I spent the most money on, uh, and there were two books on the shelf, and I'll tell you, these are Fantastic Four books, and one of them I've been looking for for a while. I have this book in a 4.0, but it's restored, uh, and I threw it into the deal that I, I picked up these two books, and I threw it into the deal, uh, and I'll show you that one first. So I picked up Fantastic 448. It's a really nice copy. Uh, it does have this uh, Ink 6 on there. I don't think CGC will begrudge me on that. I'm not going to rush to get this graded yet. This is the first appearance of Silver Surfer and Galactus, if you don't know. Um, this is a monumental cover. I remember uh, as a kid seeing this cover um, in like Wizard and other price guides uh, as, as sort of like a, a landmark issue. And with the watcher who is looks looks like just a big big person not 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 too majestic there but uh, the spine is great it the book is is together um I, and and this was an impulse buy so i i it was on the shelf uh i i had the guy bring it down and show it to me the dealer and i've i've bought things from this dealer before i bought my x-men one from him i bought my amazing spider-man 129 the first punisher from him uh so he's a good guy and i definitely go back to him when i when i um am interested in buying some big keys and he works with with you on on, on it if he can so uh, let's see. So this, I, I looked at it and I was hemming and hawing and I had him put it back. And I was looking at this other book that I eventually bought. And, um, another guy had, was looking at this one and a graded copy. He had like a 3.0. Uh, and I said, well, you know, if, if the, in my mind, I was like, if this, if this guy doesn't take it, I want it back. I, you know, cause I originally had pulled it off the shelf. Um, the guy hemmed and hawed and was trying to trade and eventually gave it back to the dealer. And I said, I'll take it. Uh, throw it in the deal. I was like, you know, so uh, I got the first appearance of Silver Surfer and Galactus. Um, I really wish it, I, I wasn't going to get it originally because of this six on it. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I think this is a high, higher value um, book or equal to what I have currently. I think this is at least a four. Um, and I was hoping to at least keep level with the, the book that I upgraded to. So I, I, I now have a restored copy and hopefully this, this is not restored. It doesn't look restored to me. So I'm um, excited to have this. So I told you there was one book on that shelf I was looking at. And it wasn't one I came into that convention looking for originally. And I hemmed and hawed. It was beautiful. There are not many copies of this out in a presentable condition, in my opinion. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I got. Fantastic Four 2. Uh, cool yellow cover. It's got, I didn't realize until someone at the booth pointed this out to me, the number is right in the middle of the book. 
and it's a 10 center. So apparently Marvel only did a few 10 center books before they moved up to 12 cents. Uh, Fantastic Four 1 and 2 are, are um, part of the, those, that rare crowd before they raise the prices. But no costumes and first appearance of the Skrulls. Now, this book, I think, has legs. I think this book has a chance to go up in price, so I wanted to pick it up. Um, I have been interested in some of the Silver Age, Fantastic Four, and Avenger keys. And so those have been ones that I've been looking to pick up. I think the FF ones are probably a little bit more timely to pick up because uh, of, of the news, of, of potential movie news. But um, just really, I mean, I never... In my life, I never expected to buy Fantastic Four 1. I don't have it. I wish I did. Um, I know some of you out there in the community have it for sure. Um, I never thought I'd have X-Men 1, which I have, and Amazing Spider-Man 1 and have that run. So Fantastic Four is the next um, iteration. Um, I am fa a fan of some of their key issues and first appearances and so forth. So, um, so yeah, so I, I got this one and this one all at the same deal. And I couldn't be happier, couldn't be poorer, but... Um, I, I feel like it's, you know, this is a good condition book um, and it's complete. The staples are attached and it's hard to find this book, in my opinion, in, in decent condition. And I love the yellow. I, I, I don't know what it is about the yellow, but I love the yellow. So, so that's my haul. These were the crying jewels. The $5 books were um, great to start me off hunting. If I, if I wasn't looking for more Silver Age, I probably would have spent more time with the $5 stuff. But um, you, know, you got to prioritize. you got to go in with a game plan. And I tried to stick to that plan as best as possible. So, so that's my haul. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. Subscribe if you haven't before. Uh, and you get noticed. Hit that bell to get notices every time um, I post a video. Uh, which I don't post too, too much. I you know, try, try to post like once, once a week or so. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, the content. Uh, if you liked anything below, comment. Uh, and like I said, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.